NSFW What are you shamefully attracted to? I absolutely, positively love eating pussy. I take great pride in the whole aspect and love to dominate and do my thing for as long as you want. Till I'm drenched in sweat. Can't breathe. Jaw hurts. Tongue is sore. I think about it like a clock regulates time and every girl I'm attracted to would definitely get quality grade AAA attention. Every time. Sex is okay. I enjoy BJ's. I'm a guy. Hi at me your new girlfriend. Sarcastic women who do so jokingly. Maybe it's because I'm British. But when it's done in a flirty way. Men's hands. It's weird. Girls with nice backs. Not overly muscular, but smooth, clear, lightly tanned skin. Some guys are ass men, some are boob men. I'm a back man. Love it and I can't explain why. Once you go back, you never go back. I think I am late to the game here but. Collars on women. The recent resurgence of the choker has been amazing. Resting bitch face. Ponytails. Oh gee, confession time. I have a deep, ridiculous, almost weird obsession with chubby guys. I'm not ashamed of liking chubby guys by the way. I'm ashamed of the intensity to which I like them. I also feel so guilty about fetishizing them but I can't help it. I love hugging a chubby guy and feeling them being all soft and cuddly. It makes me weak in the knees and gives me an instant lady boner. I'm sort of on the skinny side and for some reason, I seem to repel the kind of guys I'm physically attracted to. All of them ignore me and it just makes me want to want them more. FML. As a somewhat chubby guy, I imagine they ignore you because they assume there's no way in hell you'd be interested. Pale girls. Not tanned at all. It's difficult to find porn. Armpits. Only Reddit and the women of my life know. Deep voices. Those deep, rumbly voices that just go straight through you. I'm painfully attracted to a bass voice. I'm painfully attracted to a bass voice. I'll just leave this right here. If I'm attracted to you, nothing on your body is foreign to me. I'm getting the good bad and the ugly and I'm loving it all. For whatever reason, I'm attracted to women who hate everyone. Homebodies. Cynical. With a general disgust for other people. Maybe it's the challenge of breaking down their walls. Maybe it's an opposites attract kind of thing. Since I generally enjoy being in large groups of people and meeting new people. I don't know. I never really thought about it before now. When a girl is a complete wreck and just gives you that look like this is me. There's something about it that is just so attractive and sexy. I like my men with a little dash of bastard. I've come to terms with this. I like decisive, determined, passionate men. And there's a little shitheadedness that comes along with those traits that I'm not as averse to as dear Abby would probably say I should be. I have my downsides too. If he hurts me directly and intentionally, though, it's going down. And I don't mean downtown either. Hey it's me your asshole. Ginger boys young men of legal age. I want the ever-loving f degraded out of me in bed. Call me every bad word in the book and that gets me going. I love the idea of a guy having power over me and going rough. Telling me what to do and taking control. Although at an intellectual level I'd be disguised by a guy who treated me so badly so it's unlikely I'll find someone who can adequately fulfill that desire and still be a good partner who respects me out of bed. My girlfriend loves this kind of stuff in bed. But I'm shamefully bad at dirty talk. Could you possibly give me some advice? Lesbians. I'm only ashamed because I feel like a dick for how many times I've asked out lesbians. I don't know they're lesbians when I ask them out if that makes it any better. There's just something about them. The short hair. Tomboyish clothes. Confidence in everything they do. I find it insanely attractive girls who laugh in a way that suggests mental instability. The most attractive girl I ever knew shook and laughed until every molecule of air in her body was expelled. She sounded like an albatross being forced through a cheese grater. And I loved her for it. There was a girl in my college chemistry class who had suffered from severe facial burns that were uncorrected. She could best be described as, Lisa Kudrow cast in the role of Two-Face. Or the Norse goddess Hela. To many, she'd be a butterface great body. Blonde. One half half of her face was gorgeous. The other half was messed up with keloid tissue.
but still largely the same she had a face. If you didn't get within 50 feet, you'd assume she was just a statuesque blonde girl. I was fascinated and couldn't stop staring. She hated me because she thought I was gawking at her because of her deformity. One of my great regrets is that I never developed the bravery to tell her I was staring because I thought she was fascinating. That she was more beautiful because she was unique. Steve Buscemi Men I don't know. I don't want to get to know them. I just want to have sex with them once. I wanna accidentally bump into them at a store. Make eye contact. Go bang it out somewhere. And never talk to them again. I dunno. I guess I'm really curious as to what different dudes dicks look like. I would never tell anyone this. But. Women dressed as clowns. I'm not sure where or how it started. Beware. Future Ken Bones. This is a trap. Men with nice voices. They don't even have to be physically attractive. Which explains me why I used to have a crush on Bumblebee Baggage Claim. It's great how far off that is from Benedict Cumberbatch but I still instantly knew who you were talking about. Small dicks. Hello there. The angel from my nightmares. The shadow in the background of the morgue. Catwoman. Damn 1991 Batman Returns coming out when I started puberty. Girls with off-color hair, used to be mostly punk chicks. Now there are a lot of cosplay girls that do it too. Nothing turns my head faster than a glimpse of blue, purple or green hair in a crowd. I wouldn't say I'm exactly ashamed but I definitely don't advertise that feet are a big turn attraction for me. Except to random internet strangers. Then it's about all I talk about. My husband didn't tell me about his foot fetish for years cause he thought it'd freak me out. I mean, I have OCD and think feet are weird, gross as f**k, sure. But like, as kinks go, feet aren't that weird. He finally told me, and I was like so, like, hold on, you want to rub my feet all the time, buy me cute socks and nice shoes, and all I gotta do is let you suck my toes. Or tie my ankles together so you can f*** the arches. And I get unlimited foot rubs. I, well yeah, and I'd like to jack off with your socks. Too. The f*** didn't you say so sooner. Damn. Like I'm going to turn down unlimited feet massages. I have OCD. But I'm not stupid. Go to town. Babe. Girls that are pure and modest on the outside but wild and slutty in bed. Tall women. Basically larger than me in every regard. Idealistically around 6 foot to 6, 5. There's something so dick hardening about a woman who could easily overpower and rape murder me whenever she wants. But doesn't. I love women with big thighs. Especially in tights or bare. I'm not ashamed of it but so many women seem to hate having them and it seems like something many or most would take offense at the mention of. I find it hard to keep my eyes off them. Also consensual non-consent. Women ages 40 to 60 with big butts. I'm 30, but since I was like 19 I've always wanted to bang a really thick MILF. It hasn't happened because all of the ones that I see out in public are married so yeah skeptical smiley face. In college I used to be ashamed of liking bigger women. I was in a frat and whenever I hooked up with a big chick I was ridiculed for it. However, nowadays, they are my weakness and I have zero shame about it. Trashy girls. Seriously if I see a pretty trashy girl I'm f Dated the pretty, trashy, crazy triangle for a little bit in college. Sex was 10 out of 10. Sanity was like 2 tenths. And that shit becomes a full-time job along the way. She's got a drama at 3 a.m. and you have to work the next day. F*** you. Get in your car and go rescue her. Did you spend $300 on her birthday and two weeks working on the gifts? F*** you. You forgot something that ruined the entire day for her. Are you friends with a woman you've known since you were 8 years old when she used to babysit you? you. You're obviously hooking up with her on the down low. Is her ex in town for a few days and she stops answering her text messages? F*** you. You're a suspicious asshole. Is she pregnant now? F*** you. You're obviously the father even though you've worn a condom every single time. 
I'm ashamed that I have a tendency to latch on to even the smallest affection shown me and I hate myself for it. I've never felt like any woman has ever found me attractive or shown much of an interest in me and the only thing that upsets me more than that is that I want it. There's a part of me that deeply desires that validation and is dying of loneliness and it is also something I hate myself for. Girls with low self-esteem. I just want to lift them up to the point where they realize they are too good for me. Men who can't dance but still get out there and shake their asses and have a good time. Fun plus confidence equals instant sexy. Men's back and shoulders. Um, I just want to lick them. Girls who kinda look like guys. Short hair styles. Small breasts. Confident. Not. Girly. I wouldn't go so far as heavily muscled. Tall or square featured though. Women with raspy voices. The type of voice that can't get too high-pitched or shriek even if they try they would just yell. It's hard to explain and no one gets it. Like a girl who sounds like she just woke up all the time. The motion of an electric charge in a uniform direction. Gadget Hackwrench. She's like a mouse carry Byron. Hot girls who drive shitty cars and don't have their shit together.